This is the world's most powerful sledgehammer. Outfitted with 6 F-Class rocket motors, it generates more than 50 pounds of thrust. Now it's your lucky day because you get to watch me make it and smash things that should be smashed. You also get to see my struggles because who doesn't like a good comeback story? Now this hammer needs three things to make it go smashy smashy boom boom. Rockets of course, something to attach the rockets to the hammer, and wicks that will trigger the rockets simultaneously. Oh, and don't forget copious amounts of swag. So I'll start by preparing the hammer and these spare metal parts to be welded together. Now I gotta be really careful because these hammers are known to cause reproductive harm in the state of California. Alright, go. Hey, can you teach me how to weld a sledgehammer? A what? When I was done with my Edward Scissorhands cosplay, we were able to start welding. Oh, you like Very that? Nice. Well, I'll tell you what. Shoot, who dropped their dime? Shoot, someone get their boomer grandpa. Okay, while well, Alex is slaving away, I'm gonna go dink around with some rocket fuel. So the scale just stopped measuring and started calling me old, so I didn't really know if I had the correct ratios. So I figured I'd better use an ancient southern method of testing the rocket fuel. I'm gonna invert the spoon, cover all 9,000 taste buds, aerate it, warm it up, driving up that top note, that cream, pure vanilla, sweeteners. That's a 10. It looks like a, like a reindeer. You think? <laughs> Rudolph right there. We should put a little metal nose on it. <laughs> now that it's functional, we need to work on the most important part, making it look good for the thumbnail. <laughs> now I really didn't want to touch the head to keep it clean so the paint would stick to it better. So for some reason, fuses are incredibly difficult to buy, so I'm gonna have to make some. Now obviously I've never made fuses before because I'm mostly mentally stable. I decided to test a small piece before drying it out in the oven just to see what would happen. And of course it didn't work, so I torched the whole thing and started over. And then I remembered I didn't dry it out yet and that's why it didn't work. I promise that smoke is not from me. And so I had to clear out the pot, of course. Jolly good show. And there we have it, everything we need for rocket power destruction. I haven't tested these rockets or fuses, so we're about to see if I've accidentally made two small sticks of dynamite or not. But as sure as a good thing I filmed this part in slow-mo. All right, well, I didn't lose any fingers or permanently disfigure myself, so that's a win. But that definitely wasn't enough thrust, so let's try four rockets this time. Okay, problem now is the rockets aren't being activated at the same time. That was perfect timing. So I made some new fuses that will all start burning at the same time and activate the rockets simultaneously. All right, here's something I was too dumb to take into equation. The distance from here to the rocket is different on each one. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Six fuses of equal length that I taped together. Well, three of them didn't even go off, so these fuses are just not reliable. All right, I finally found some fuses in a store. Let's see how well they work.
That was splendid. I took too long getting to the high speed camera on this first shot, so we missed the very first part, and so that's why you're gonna see me running away after every hit. Looks like they all fired and at the same time this time. If you want to feel like a cool guy, reload the rockets on your rocket sledgehammer. <laughs> all right, back by popular demand, the ballistic gel skull. He's already uh, a little dinged up. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's, that's real broken. You know what, I took some practice swings to make sure I got it right. It's hard to do it right, okay guys? Don't make fun of me. Oh, did I miss or did I have perfect accuracy on the jaw? Look at that. Oh yeah, the jaw is decimated. <laughs> you know what, maybe those hits weren't perfect, but check out this sunset. I am in awe at the splendor of our universe right now. I wasn't about to be defeated. So the next day I came back and practiced my swinging and made more rockets. Oh, there's, a, there's a little puck. <laughs> what are you looking at, you hockey puck? I just found this rocket motor sitting on the ground right here, and that is where I was shooting the hammers. All right, I'm losing daylight too fast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reload these, but I do have some small commercial rockets around. Okay, that looked like a good, solid square hair. <laughs> Here's the one that flew out. Uh-oh. The hammer is still functional, unlike most of our projects. Leave some comments of some things you want us to smash with this hammer, and who knows, I might just make a massive rocket and put it right there. 
We made a very similar video where we made the world's heaviest hammer by making it super dense. Click here to check that out. Or if you want to see us make the world's heaviest baseball, click here to check that out. Uh. <laughs>